Hi everyone, Francesca Verri here, back in another closet in my house. Um, I, I, if you saw my previous videos, I had shown you the closet that's in my bathroom. I called it my linen bathroom closet. I do have some towels in there. That's you know for easy access for me to get to the towels that we use for bathing. But all of the linens uh, for the house, my bedroom, my daughter's bedroom, and the spare bedrooms are in this closet, um, along with a lot of other things that I wanted to show you. So I want to kind of show you the before, and I do want to. I'll do a video to show you um, the what I'm what I'm what I've done. I want to explain to you. Ha! Ah, isn't she pretty? Oh my goodness gracious! This gives me a little bit of agita. Um, so really, just to tell you to. To start, when we first got this house, you know, we have so many closets in this house. And, and again, total blessing, happy. It, I'm not complaining about that. People are throwing darts at me right now. What are you telling me? I have no closet. So I get it. Closets are great. But we can, um, the best of us, will kind of just shove things in open spaces or not open spaces um, behind the doors and the drawers because we don't want to make a decision on something. So I early on said, I'm gonna set these things up and they're gonna be for backup, like backup toothpaste and the toiletries, which is a great idea. The problem is that they've gotten so stuffed that what was supposed to just be for maybe teeth, uh, I think teeth has spread into a few different things and it's kind of ridiculous because honestly, there are three of us, we all floss, so we need floss and maybe extra toothpaste. Because even that, I make my own toothpaste, so that's even become, if there's any toothpaste in there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of it, because I don't use traditional or conventional toothpaste. Um, and, and I've also noticed that my husband has gone back to his ways of collecting things from hotels that we've stayed in. And I mean, they smell good, they do, but these aren't really things that I use on my body anyway. And so he collects them because that's, and that's another whole story in itself. It's a different mentality when you think um, of you never know. I understand, but, but we do know. We do know. We do know that I haven't opened this closet to grab a spare shampoo ever. And if I have people over, if someone were staying at my house for a week, they'd be using the shampoo that's in the spare bathroom that is the shampoo that I would approve of, right? So I'm not reaching in there. Um, yeah, so we do know the answer to that. Okay, so be careful when you find yourself saying, you never know. Do you not know <laughs> or do you? And you just sort of are, there's something probably pulling at you why you wanna be saving more. So I'm gonna look through all this stuff. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull these bins out. I might take a video of me doing that, maybe to show you, but basically, I'm gonna empty everything. I'm going to put the like items together and then I'm gonna purge them because then I'll have a very good idea of how many you know, extra toothpaste or toothbrushes that I have. And then I can say, you know, this is how many I have. I only need this many. So you can purge or donate, especially if they're unopened. Um, and these kinds of like toiletries I can give to a local shelter. So that's an idea for people. They often ask me questions about where, where I, uh, where, you can donate some of these things. So, uh, and then I'm gonna show you the after. And I'll show you with the after, maybe I'll give you a little more pointers of what I did, but just with the sheets here, um, even how I store them, I can tell you. Um, but a lot of this stuff, it needs to, it needs to go bye-bye. So, more to follow. Hi everybody. Okay, so I've completed the purge of the linen closet and I want to show you what I did and show you some of the systems that I built. Um, I told you and you saw that I started with what was here, all those bins, and you saw me sort and purge those. I'm down to three, kind of four. Teeth products, first aid, toiletries, and this is all travel. We have, um, we take sort of our, we travel a lot cross country 
And so we carry our own blankets because they don't give them to you on the plane anymore. And so we roll those right up. So I just keep them. I wash them. I get off the plane and I, and I travel with them. So we needed a spot for those. If you remember up top, I had all of those. Um, they were actually mattress covers that I don't use. <laughs> I haven't used them in a while and I, we, we must have gotten new ones. And in my mind, I'm thinking, well, this is a backup if I'm ever washing all the sheets and I wanna wash all the mattress covers. Now what I just do is I just wash the mattress cover and put it back on the bed. Um, regardless, even if you had a backup one and you had the space for it, um, this one was so, so old that it just had to go. And so there, you'll, you saw that, those two bags of trash. That's what, uh, one of them contained a lot of those linens that I will bring to a textile. This is a place that you can recycle textiles near me. Um, so yeah, so you can see the finished product here. And basically, these are our linens. This is my, my daughter's linens, um, the spare bedroom linens. Um, my husband and I only have one set of sheets. <laughs> Maybe it's TMI, but, um, but I, I take off the sheets, I wash the sheets, I put them back on. So, um, and our sheets last us, you know, quite a bit. And then when those go, I'll buy one more set of sheets because that's really all I find that we need. And if you don't know already, and I'll just show you how to store these. I've done this for all my clients when I do a linen closet. I take the pillowcase. And so this has an extra pillowcase. My daughter has a full size bed, so it has two pillowcases. And I put the flat sheet and the fitted sheet inside and the, and the spare pillowcase inside the, the second pillowcase and I fold it up so that that way they're contained. And I can just grab that pillowcase and, and, all, and the contents are in there, that, what I need to make the bed. So it, it allows me to keep everything compartmentalized, which as you've been hearing me say, containing things. And, um, and I don't have to go and sort for where's the pillowcase and where's the flat sheet and what have you. So everything is contained and I can just grab it and put it back nice and neatly. So this is, this is the closet. There she is. Isn't she pretty? I'm challenging you. I want you to find that closet in your house. It could be the linen closet. A lot of times it is. And don't forget, you know, uh, we're all, we're all creatures of being able to store things behind the door if we can, what's in the drawer, anything we can tuck away and not really look at again. So, you know, you're, you're no different than anybody if this is the case for you. Um, but you know, it's a great time of year. Well, anytime is a great time of year to do this, but you know, just to sort of, I'm gonna challenge you now. You're gonna take, you know, an hour and just open up your closet. You're gonna start by removing the things that you know are old, dingy, that you don't use, you don't like, you don't need. And if you have bins like this, or if you don't, I suggest you you do that. Compartmentalize, group together like items, and and uh, contain them, uh, and label them so that you can more easily find what it is that you need. I'd love to hear how you do. Please ask me questions if you want. Tell me how you're doing, and um, and get to it, and let me know how you do. Good luck.